Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel on this beautiful day. I have a review of the Logitech G402 Hyperion Drive right here. I bought this recently because I had to um, get rid of my Funk MS3 mouse, which wasn't that good for gaming. I didn't really like it. It was too heavy and it was too bulky and didn't really have all the functions I wanted. Uh, it had all the color stuff you could do, use. This one doesn't. But whatever, it's it's the feel and the kind of the way you use it uh, that matters. So how how the premium it feels. Now let's start off there. Let's see how it feels. All the plastics are super smooth, really really nice. Uh, all around here is some kind of silky smooth plastic. You have the shiny plastic here that might get dirty. Mine still is pretty clean. You have this rubbery material here which feels really good you can grip onto it there is the same rubbery material here but you have the the kind of a uh, raffle I don't know what you call it but it, it looks kind of cool it, it grips onto your little finger really well so you can hold on to it without slipping off all the buttons feel really nice they have the shiny plastic finish on them um, when you click them the sound is really nice so I thought I'd give you a little sound test here so these are the regular clicks and then you have the mouse wheel click, mouse wheel roll, you have the DPI buttons, the thumb buttons, and the mouse aim button. So they all sound kind of the same, but they sound really nice. Now, the lighting is something that's pretty cool. The lighting, you can't change the color, but you can change the frequency of the pulsation. You can change the uh, strength of the, the light. You can change the DPI lights to always be on if you want. But we'll get to that in the software in a minute. Uh, let me just, before I start off with that, let me just go ahead and introduce the Steel Series, Steel Series, a little bit dirty Steel Series QCK Mini. So this is the Mini. This is how big the Mini is. There is another version that is the regular version, which is a lot bigger than this. I don't have the space for it. There is an even bigger version, the XL, which is which probably covers your whole desk if you have a very low sensitivity and you need to move your hand all the way across the desk, then you probably want that. Otherwise, this does just fine. Um, what else can we say? The bottom is really nice. The feet are really slippery and, and good. And if you want them to live a lot longer, you probably want a nice mat like this to work with, with not a, a lot of uneven spots. Everything is good. The clicking feels great. It's not too heavy at all. It's a, li a little bit on the lighter side, I'd say. The, um, the way it kind of tracks is great. We'll get into that in a minute. And everything is just really good with this mouse. It feels really good in the hand. It feels really good to play with. So let's just go ahead into the homepage to look at a few stats and see what we can do there. So this is the homepage. The pricing is about 69.99 euros. So about 70, 80 bucks. Uh, I got this actually, believe it or not, for about 40 bucks on a sale on the store I go to. So it was about 249 Swedish kroners which is about 40 bucks, I'd say 30, 40 bucks, something like that. So it's really a nice price, really nice price, man. And then you have all this stuff here that you can check out on the homepage. Now, uh, the I forgot to say that the cable is kind of a rubbery feeling. It, they don't have this really durable cable, but it is pretty durable still. It's kind of rubbery feeling, so it's, go, it's okay. Uh, let's go on to the features though. The, the special thing with this mouse, I guess, is the Fusion Engine, which really helps the tracking. And 500 IPS. So it'll be able to track speeds in excess of 500 IPS. And that is really fast. So when you're playing FPS games, by the way, this mouse is really good for FPS games, right? Just for that reason, where you can just twitch and it'll follow you with that accuracy that you need. And as well, you need a good mat for that to work optimally. Really, really high tracking sensitivity using the Fusion Engine. The eight programmable buttons. So you can put macros on each one of the buttons. Except, I think, for the click mouse click buttons, the, the one and two, left and right. But everything else you can put 
anything you want on macros any kind of keyboard presses anything like that through the software and we're gonna look at in a minute on the fly DPI switching obviously almost all mice have this but it's good because it says four here but there's actually five um, I'll show you that in a minute as well I showed you the three lights but you can actually have five on there and they have a cool little feature where they show you the two other higher DPI's uh, on the lights in a pretty cool way I'll show you that uh, there's a 32-bit ARM processor I guess this is much more for the macro handling and all that stuff but uh, yeah it, it works with the Fu Hyperion Fury drive as well for tracking everything everything is for the tracking on this mouse I guess that's the best part of this mouse so there's a one millisecond report rate on USB which is really fast really good really responsive uh, comfortable design high-speed clicking all that stuff you can click really fast on this mouse and you can kind of rest your finger on the clicks without it clicking which is really nice here are all the specs for all of you too lazy to go ahead and go and do all the cumbersome googling uh, but this is good to know they're they're the friction co coefficient is pretty low you have the where is it here it's rated for about 20 million clicks and 250 kilometers I guess this is in miles 150 155 miles just about so uh, and this will probably be this is probably on their own mouse pads if you have a worse or, or a mouse pad that is kinda of rough is gonna be considerably less so uh, make sure you get a good mouse pad um, here are all the weights and stuff good for you guys to know if you're comparing your mice you have the tracking you have pretty high DPI settings you can go to pretty low as well and here are the features so that's about it for the specs go ahead and go to this page if you want to check them out even more now let's go ahead go on to the um, the software so first of all you can choose if you want all your settings to be saved on the mouse itself or on the computer I have them on the mouse right now you can probably you can change a bunch of more stuff like down here you can go ahead and change the DPI settings this orange one is for the aim button so see how it's moving fast as I press the aim button it's slower uh, I can probably show you that with a higher DPI see um, so yeah you have your three regular settings now you can add more I added two more and the way that looks on the mouse is just like this uh, I have two that's where I usually play that's the lowest and it goes the other way that's how the lighting works so it goes the other way for the other two and when you hold down this aim button it kinda does this cool little animation and you can uh, get the DPI you desire so once we turn this down it automatically kinda set, sets the final two it takes away those two this is the report frequency so I have it at the highest report pre frequency reports per second a thousand reports per second that's pretty good uh, what else can you do you can change the light strength and the dimmer effect so that's the pulsating effect the, the more you have it on the slower it's gonna go I think uh, you can choose if the DPI light should always be on this is a resting timer for the lights so after five minutes my lights turn off uh, five minutes of inactivity that's good this is the IPS engine monitor so as you keep kind of moving it and it'll, it'll kind of track stuff oh my god I flipped out and it'll track stuff and, and all that good old stuff you can change off you can turn off the fusion engine I don't know why you want to do that but you can if you know more about mice than I do uh, then you can kind of check a heat map for how where you press the most and that's about it for the software I mean there isn't much more to say about the mouse just do a little summary it's really comfortable really ergonomic my hand doesn't hurt after hours of gaming I haven't had it for more than a week but I really love it I've been playing a lot with it it uh, isn't that heavy the lights and the clicks everything are really nice perfect I really recommend this for FPS gamers and, and general users alike no problems with the mouse thus so far uh, and then the mouse pad really helps out in the tracking and the feel of the mouse the overall glide of the mouse it just glides so well on the any surface here on a, on a good surface um, that's about it
that's about it. That was my review of the Logitech G400, no, G402, excuse me. Uh, go ahead and buy one of these if you want to upgrade or if you're looking for a really high-end, good quality mouse. I haven't tried the later versions, but I'm guessing this is one of the classics, the best, one of the best ones. And you'll really love it. I think anyone will love this mouse. You can't change the weight of it, but I don't think you'll need to because it's pretty, pretty average, pretty good. A little bit on the lighter side, like I said. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. I hope it was informative. Um, and I wish you all the best. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next one, alright? Bye-bye.